guys, so um, today's look, I wanted to do something with um, two of my uh, favorite palettes. Um, the first one being the Urban Decay Vice palette, the second one being the Yebi palette. Um, the Yebi palette, um, I did blog about it and do videos with it a couple of years back and um, the other day I just found it and I realized I had to start using it again. So um, it's a really dramatic look, you can see it's got a bit of bling at the side too. I love bling. Um, I must say I have a ridiculous obsession with bling. Um, I tend to bedazzle everything that I want to or everything that I get bored of. Like for instance, um, my Yabby palette's one. Uh, it's just slightly blinged a little bit. I know it's really ridiculous. And another one would be um, my schedule or my planner. It started off as a plain simple pink book, just like that. And then I got a little bit bored and I sort of ended up bedazzling it. I know it's crazy, but I mean, I, I love bling. It's just, I love bling, it's so pretty. And um, if you're on my Instagram, you would know that I also bling my phone. So this is my casing that I just did the other day. It's really sparkly. It is super sparkly. Um, It probably isn't as sparkly in the, you know, in this lighting right now, but I'll try and show you another lighting later. So anyways, yeah, I wanted to just do something with the palettes and I wanted to sort of do something that was dramatic um, because I just felt like the last video was, although it was pretty strong in terms of colors, it just wasn't my kind of dramatic. So um, here is another dramatic look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye. So um, I'm starting off with a totally clean eyelid. I'm gonna use my Aqua Shadow um, pencil. I make up forever the one in white, and it's my mirror. I need to have my mirror. Okay. So this one's just gonna go under my brow bone for my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, and this is just going over the eye. So, um, I've just applied some loose powder under my eye. Um, I'm going to start off first with um, my Yabby palette. So, um, the Yabby palette basically, I did a look with it a couple of years back, I think when I first got hold of this palette. Um, this is an amazing palette. Um, it's not very cheap. It cost me almost $200 with shipping from Camerady Cosmetics. But um, it's got amazing, amazing um, pigmented eyeshadows. Okay, um, I've got swatches and stuff on my blog, so you can check that out. But yeah, I'm just going to go for this lime green here, which is a stunning lime green. It's got like yellowish gold reflex in it, so it's super pretty. And I'm just going to go for a flat brush like that. I'm just zoom in a little bit. Okay. And this is just going to go over my eye, just about the inner corners only, nothing too dramatic or anything. Just a little bit here. And I'm going to go for my favorite... This is the Urban Decay Vice Palette. I'm then loving a, it. A couple of looks with this palette already. I'm still in love with this palette. It's got the most intense pigments and they're just brilliant. So if you haven't gotten yourself the Urban Decay Vice Palette, you should totally get it. Um, going for Noise, which is this nice hot pink shade there. And I'm going to go for a crease brush. This is the MAC 217. I'm picking up that same pink, the same hot pink, and just kind of buffing out the, the colour into the crease a little bit, making it a bit softer. A little bit. Okay. It's like that. And then I'm going to go for my favourite green from this palette, which is this one here. What's that called? Junkie. Super pretty green. Oh my god, so pretty. <laughs> I'm going to go for a smaller crease brush. This one's um... Okay, I have no idea where this is from. Okay, wait. This is the Artist Professional. I don't know where I got it from. I think it was BHG, but it's all faded, so you can't really see that anymore. Um, going for the green. And applying it at the outer corner. Kind of creating a V-shape like that, you can see. And just blending it in. 
I'm going for a crease brush. This is the Real Techniques. Um, okay, everything's faded, so I can't read that. It's just a crease brush. I'm just gonna buff that out a little bit. Okay, so you can see the colors have become really soft and they're blended together. So it's a, it is becoming a bit more wearable in terms of um, because of its blending. And I'm gonna go for this purple here from the Yebi palette. This one right here. Okay, and that's sort of gonna just be my transition color to blend um, the color towards the highlight. I'm gonna go for Anonymous, which is this very nice matte eggshell kind of color. Sort of and this is just gonna go under my brows. And then <laughs> I'm gonna go back for the Yebi palette, and this color now is this top color. Which is almost hitting pen, it's actually one of my favorites. It's a very nice shimmery color. So I'm gonna pop that on top of the highlight color just so it pops a little bit. So um basically I just filled in my brows and made them a lot more um, darker and intense. I'm gonna go for my um, pen eyeliner and I'm just gonna sort of do a relatively thick line across. And then I'm just gonna wing it out. And I'm just gonna wing it out extra long just because I wanna put on the stones like the other eye. Okay, so um, I basically just put on some fake lashes and waiting for that to dry. And I'm gonna do the bottom lash now. Now, of course, if you're not a fan of really dramatic makeup, you could just leave it at the top part here and just maybe just do your waterline. But of course, I'm gonna go all out with that. So I'm gonna do the lower lash line. I'm just using. Um, an eye pencil, dipping it into my Inglot Gel Eyeliner. Then I'm going to go for the Yabby palette. And it's this really nice, almost matte, um, pop that oil blue shade there over the black liner. And just smudge it slightly. I wanted to say slowly and slightly, I said slightly. So I'm just going to pop this on. The Vice palette. Back to the vice palette, going for my favorite blue. This is Chaos. It's that one there. It's a ridiculously bright blue. Back for um, the Inglot Gel Eyeliner, dipping my pencil inside. Just slowly lining the waterline. Okay, I'm going to contour my face with my Elizabeth Arden bronzer. This is the Deep Radiance Pure Finish Bronzer. And I'm just going to really just pop that in. I'm going to use two blushes. I'm going to start off first with this um, blush called Lust from Makeup Store. And to be honest, it looks exactly like the last orgasm. Okay, this is a nice uh, shimmery peach sort of color. So it gives a nice glow to the skin and just a nice slight pop of color. But I wanted the colour to be a bit more stronger. So you can see it's slightly more obvious here. It's just a lot more natural. This is a very nice soft natural look, I'd say. Um, I mean the blusher, not the face. Or the eyes or anything. <laughs> um, I just wanted, wanted to have it a bit more stronger, the cheeks. So I'm going to go for the Chanel uh, Rose Turbulon. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But uh, one of my dear friends, Sophia, got this for me for my birthday. And it's a super pretty uh, pinkish shade. I'm gonna just take that. Now the shadow blushes are really intense, so you really need like the smallest amount. I'll take it at the top. For the lips, I'm currently using my favorites right now, the NARS Satin Lip Pencils, which are, I must say, brilliant. They are available at Tang's Orchard, and you have to check them out because they're just amazing. They're creamy, they're um, glossy, uh, but they leave a stain, and they're almost sort of matte on your lips, and they last all day. I love them. They are just amazing. I've blogged about them and I've got them in six different shades right now. And this one I'm using is a lighter shade I have. It's called Floralize. It's a very nice nude shade and you just have to pop it on just like that. You don't have to set it with anything. It's just amazing. So it's just like that. Okay, so that's the look. 
um, I'm gonna just stick on the stones. Of course, these are all optional, but you know me. I'm always going the extra mile just to make things a bit more dramatic. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna stick on the stones. So that's the look, um, like I said, a really dramatic Arabic inspired look, um, combining the two of my favourite palettes, the Urban Decay Vice, um, Urban Decay Vice palette and the Yavi palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look, thanks for watching guys, bye bye.